is a 1975 Ford F-250. And today, I'm gonna be taking this thing for a drive to my local scrap yard and kind of getting an idea what kind of fuel economy this thing gets. It doesn't have a working fuel gauge and uh, I'd like to have an idea of what I can expect with it, particularly while, you know, hauling some, hauling some stuff here. So I've had this truck for about a month now um, and been kind of driving it around the last couple weeks. Haven't done any real work with it yet though. So decided today was the day. Been really stacking up the scrap aluminum lately and figured I'd take some of it to the scrap yard. You know, given the capabilities of this truck, it's not that heavy of a load. I'm guessing that it's, you know, around a thousand pounds, give or take. But I thought it would be a nice, you know, nice load to kind of test out, you know, what the truck handles like with some weight in it and also get an idea of the fuel economy while doing some work. All right, so I'm gonna fuel this up, um, top it off and then uh, start this test. All right, so we're fueled up. Uh, Odometer is at 28, 183 to start this trip. And, uh, well, here goes nothing. This truck has a 390 FE motor in it. And if you know anything about FEs, you know that one, they don't pass too many fuel stations, but two, these old FEs are hard to kill. They are extremely durable and nearly an immortal engine going through a C6 transmission and out back it's got 3.7 rear gears now I don't have a tachometer on this truck but according to the RPM calculators online 60 miles an hour ends up being about 2600 to 2700 RPM so it's definitely geared to be more of a work a workhorse than it is for you know cruising on the freeway what I'm hauling here is, uh, it's, it's marine scrap, so, you know, it's actually not quite as heavy as it looks. It's mostly aluminum, so, you know, I'm predicting it'll be around a thousand pounds, maybe a little more, uh, but, you know, for the capabilities of this truck, it's really not taxing it at all. at the scrapyard heading back to the fuel station to fuel this up and see see what the damage was with the fuel consumption it was exactly a thousand pounds of scrap so for 1975 this truck you know didn't have a ton of options on it it did come with AC which isn't in the truck anymore um, it does have power steering and power brakes, which by 75, I'm guessing were basically standard options for the majority of vehicles sold in the States. Well, moment of truth here. It was about a 33 mile drive, so. Now, half of it was loaded and half of it was unloaded. My hopes aren't too high right now. All right, we're belching out of the, the spout here and uh, okay, 2.7 gallons approximately for this trip. Okay, so it was actually a 31 mile trip, not 33, so my bad there. And uh, the truck used 
2.74 gallons to do the trip. That ends up coming around just over 11 miles to the gallon. I know a lot of you are watching this and seeing 11 miles to the gallon and probably thinking to yourself that that's a pretty horrible result and well, you're not wrong. But to be honest, I was expecting it to be in the single digits, so it really uh, surpassed my expectations. Yeah, were those results better than you thought or worse than you thought? Let me know in the comments. As for this video, that's going to do it. I'm going to sign off. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.